Good morning. I'm Corey Marshall, your principal here at Harrison High School, and I want to welcome you to the 2021-2022 school year. I am so excited that we're now back in school. Summer is always exciting. It's fun. We get to do a lot of different things around school. It involves a lot of construction, but nothing matches when we put our students back in the building with our teachers and we get down to the business of school. If the first few days are any indication, we are set up for an awesome school year. And you as our student body are a huge part of that. So I'm looking forward to getting to know each of you along the way, to supporting you in your activities and your different clubs and groups and watching you grow over the course of this school year. In this class meeting today, you are gonna hear from each of the assistant principals here. And each of them will give you a just slightly different message about the areas that they work with and how they can help you throughout the school year. My biggest encouragement to everyone would be to get involved. Join a club, join a team, participate in a sport, be a part of the fall play, get involved in our school. Uh, even in some cases, that may mean as a spectator, come to an event, go to watch a concert, see your friends, but be involved. What you make of this school year relies on you. We have so many opportunities, I can't even start to list them all here in this video, but they're out there for you. You just have to take a hold of them and make it what you want it to be. I know that each of the assistant principals and myself are here to help to answer your questions whenever those come up. If you can't get an answer from a teacher or from another adult in the building, please see one of us and we are more than happy to help. At this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Assistant Principal, Mrs. Redman. Mrs. Redman is our Director of Student Services and works closely with our school counselors. Thank you, and it's gonna be a great school year. Welcome back, students. My name is Mrs. Redman, and I am the new Assistant Principal here at Harrison High School. I work with the Student Services Department, which means I'm working with the counselors to help you every day with your needs. You can find me right now in the main office, and then once the new student services office opens up, my office will be in there with the counselors. If you have any questions or need any help, please don't hesitate to come to me or any of your counselors for help. You each have a counselor assigned to you according to your last name. There are two main um, things that you can do to make changes to your schedules, and those include two important dates, so I want to make you aware of those dates as soon as possible so that you can be thinking about that. One of those changes might be a level change that you want to make in your schedule. For example, you might want to go for, from an honors course to a regular course. That might be AP U.S. History to regular U.S. History. If you're needing to make that change, you need to contact your counselor by Friday, September 17th. So you can contact your counselor by Friday, September 17th to make that level change in your schedule. Another change you could make at this point in the school year might be for those of you that have seven classes, you might want to drop a course to take a study hall. And you can do that by Friday, October 8th. So you, once again, you would need to email your counselor, set up a time to talk to her about dropping that course, um, and that would be by Friday, October 8th. So please remember when you need anything from the Student Services Department to reach out and talk to either me or your counselor, and we're happy to help you. I want to wish you a very memorable and successful school year this year, and I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Solomon, our Dean of Students. Welcome back, Raiders. Um, welcome to the new school year. A couple of things I want to discuss uh, with you is basically reminders. COVID's still here, as we all know, so we'll keep, continue to use the one-way stairwells in the building. They are marked up or down, so please try to follow those as best you can. Also look at the handbook, page 19 and 20. The dress code has been updated by a recommendation from a few students last year. So we brought some terminology and some things from some other schools and put together what we feel is a better definition of what our dress code should be. Also this year, remember that sophomores driving will be parking down in the soccer lot. So make sure you park in the right space so everybody's a spot to park. Social media, uh, we always wanna talk about that a little bit, remind you that to be respectful, do not bully or pick on other students using social media. Be careful what you put on there that could be um, a bad mark on you or your family or you in the school. 
So just be sure to be careful with those things. Use them sensibly. They're good tools if used right, so continue to use those right. And lastly, let's make the key word for this year, respect. Let's make sure we respect each other, make sure we respect teachers, co-students, um, maintenance people, custodians, everyone's here working together to make this the best school and best year you can have. So let's all use respect this year for everyone. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Denneke. I'm one of the assistant principals here as well. Welcome, we're excited to have you guys. I'm gonna to talk to you about parking and attendance. For parking, I want you to know that things have changed a little bit. Our sophomores are parking in the, low, in the north lot over by the soccer and softball fields. And our seniors are parking in the lower south lot with a few in the K-wing. Um, this year. Those spots are painted for them and if you haven't gotten a chance to check them out, please do so. They look amazing. The rest of our seniors who didn't purchase a spot and our juniors can park in the north lot over by the cafeteria and in the K-Wing lot over in the southeast area. Please do not park in the front or the west parking lot. That is for staff only. If you are wanting to park, please make sure you fill out a parking permit form and bring in the $27 to the office and we will get you a parking tag and get you set up there. Also know that any type of misconduct in the school or outside of school could result in loss of parking privileges. So if you have any questions regarding parking, please let me know and I will be able to answer them. Now for attendance. Students are only allowed nine unexcused absences and those unexcused absences are any absences where we don't hear from a parent or a guardian and we don't have any documentation. So if there is documentation, a college visit, military visit, funeral, or a doctor's note, or any kind of medical reason, bring those notes in and those absences will be considered excused. Make sure you bring those into the attendance office. Mrs. Brickley, Mrs. Baldwin, or Ms. Rainwater, or myself can handle those and we will get those days for you. Now, if you are out due to a COVID-related illness, okay, or you're quarantined, those days will not count against you. But please make sure if you are out due to a COVID-related illness that you have a parent or guardian, contact the attendance office, myself, or our nurse, Mrs. Shelton, and we will make sure we give you the next steps and the length of quarantine. Um, if you are ever gonna be gone for a prearranged absence, you're going on vacation, you're having surgery, or you just know you'll be out of school for an extended period of time, again, please have a parent or guardian call us, let us know, the attendance office or myself, and we will be able to get you a prearranged absence form. And that form is something you will take to all your teachers so they will also know that you'll be out as well. And last but not least, if you guys ever come in late or have to leave early, please sign in with the attendance office, all right? Uh, they will make sure you have your pass either to go to class or they will make sure they collect your pass from you as you are leaving early. Any reason you are not here at school, a parent or guardian needs to call in and just let us know. If you are absent for more than nine days, you will lose credit for those classes, okay? And there will be other consequences along the way. So please make sure you're here in class and your teachers are so excited to have you. If you have any other questions or if there's anything else I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, now to Mr. Gallima for our athletic director for more information on athletics. Hey Raiders, welcome back to the 21-22 school year. It's so awesome to already see you in the hallways. The school year is off to a great start, and I think this year is going to be one of our better ones. In my role as the athletic director, I just want to share with you that we have a lot of activities that just aren't being part of an athletic team. You can do anything that you really want to be involved with. My suggestion is get involved early. If you're a freshman, get involved this year. Seniors, if you haven't tried something, let's try something before you graduate. Back to athletics, so we do have a deal for all of our Harrison students. You can buy an all-sport pass for only $40, and that will get you into events all year long. One thing that we pride ourselves in here at Harrison is the tradition that we have. Uh, we feel like we have the best student body in Tippecanoe County, and we're counting on this group to continue that same tradition. So if you have any questions, stop by, ask any one of the administrators. We will get you an answer. But most of all, let's enjoy 21-22.